good morning children now we are going to start in the unit or chapter unit number 9 and the chapter number 8 name of the topic is environmental issues so before every chapter we are going for introduction so this chapter is also not an exception not exception after understanding we have already discussed about the ecosystem and different types of ecosystem also we have discussed now the student community should observe and understand the environmental problems of their surroundings at local local areas in national way and broad way in the international level now we are going to understand some of the environmental issues what are they the first one is called overpopulation health issues all these things we have discussed waste disposal disposal all types of pollution greenhouse gases ozone depletion water energy and food scarcity water scarcity energy scarcity food scarcity deforestation climate change industrialization urbanization and their impacts also now next we are going to discuss about the environmental issues environmental issues are the problems and harmful effects created by human activities unmindful activity unmindful means people are least bothered about the harmful effect of the environment so unmindful activity and over utilization of the valuable resources obtained from the nature now students should understand not only the environmental issues we are facing now but also we find solution we should find solution to rectify or to reduce this problems so before going to that we shall be solving the problems we have to see what are the reasons these problems are arising already we know certain things but we have to know in detail now countries of the world agree that something something needs to be done about these important environmental issues such a many global uh, global summits are taking place conferences and conventions are regularly conducted by the united nations and uh, many steps are to be are taken to minimize the human induced issues by signing agreements with around 150 countries throughout the world so they are meeting time to time and they are um, they are um, preparing so many proposals to reduce these environmental problems time to time many conferences many summit and many um, conventions are regularly conducted by the united nations to find out the way to solve the problems of all these environmental issues drastic increase in population resulted in demand for more productivity of food materials fibers fuels which lead to many environmental issues in agriculture land use modifications resulting in loss of biodiversity availability biodiversity land degradation degradation reduction in fresh water availability and also resulting in man made global warming by greenhouse gases even altering the climatic conditions now one by one all these problems whatever possible in this chapter we are going to discuss first one is called the greenhouse effect and global warming greenhouse effect is a process by which the radiant heat from the sun is captured by the gases which are produced in the produced by human activities and by the gases rather the radiant heat that from the sun is captured by the gases in the atmosphere that increase the temperature of the earth the gases that capture heat are called the greenhouse gases what are the gases are capturing the heat now they are the carbon dioxide methane ch4 nitrous oxide and a variety of manufactured chemicals like chlorofluorocarbon cfc increase in greenhouse gases lead to the irreversible changes in major ecosystem once it is changing we cannot it's very difficult to bring them back in the normal condition and climate patterns for example coral ecosystem is affected by increase in temperature especially the coral bleaching observed in gulf of mannar in tamil nadu what are the human activities lead to produce greenhouse effect first one burning fossil fuels we know these are the common things generally we are discussing in day to day life 
burning fossil fuels fossil fuels means coal petroleum natural gas which releases carbon dioxide and methane number 2 way of agriculture and animal husbandry practices using more and more fertilizers for agriculture so it is also having the side effect in uh, water pollution land pollution of all these animal husbandry practices electrical gadgets like refrigerator and air conditioner releases cfc gases fertilizers used in agriculture which release n2o and the emissions from the automobiles these are the different sources from where the greenhouse gases are released and that is causing the global warming now the increase in what do you mean by global warming now the increase in mean global mean global temperature average mean means average global temperature due to increased concentration of greenhouse gases is called the global warming one of the reasons for this is overpopulation which creates growing need for food fiber fuel and considered to be the major cause of global warming so overpopulation that in the beginning itself we have told so many things so many points we are going to discuss the first point is overpopulation which is responsible for the uh, cause of global warming now next one effects of global warming maybe two marks or three marks question rise in temperature global temperature which causes the sea levels to rise at polar ice caps and the glacier begin to melt causing the submergence of submergence means so many coastal area will be going under the ocean water sea water submergence of many coastal cities in many parts of the world number 2 there will be a drastic change in weather patterns bringing more floods or droughts in some areas and number 3 biological diversity may get modified some species ranges get redefined tropic and subtropic may face problem and uh, problem of decreased food production so these are the effect if only three points or so many points can be discussed which we are affected in our day to day life also now next one sources of greenhouse gases emission natural and anthropogenic anthropogenic the term we have discussed already anthropogenic is nothing but a man made cause of emission of different types of greenhouse gases so first one will be saying the first one is called the co2 what are the sources of co2 now coal based power plants by the burning of fossil fuels for electricity generation co2 will be released combustion of fuels in the engines of automobiles commercial vehicles and airplane aeroplanes airplanes contribute the most of global warming agricultural practices like stubble burning stubble means waste substances in the agricultural field will be burnt resulting in emission of co2 natural from the organic organic matter volcanoes warm oceans and sediments these are the different sources of carbon dioxide emission second or second um, uh, global uh, greenhouse gas is methane methane is around 20 times more effective as co2 as trapping heat in the atmosphere one more question how many times it is more uh, effective for trapping sunlight than carbon dioxide it is 20 times more effective uh, 20 times as effective as co2 for trapping heat in the atmosphere what are the sources it sources the attribute of paddy cultivation paddy field is the great source of methane cattle rearing bacteria in water body methano bacteria we used to say cattle whenever cattle animal will be chewing the food material at that time methane will be released with the cud cud fossil fuel production ocean non wetland soils and forest wildfires forest or wildfires also the great source of methane production n2o nitrous oxide it is also naturally produced in oceans from biological sources of soil and water due to microbial actions and rain forests man made sources include nylon and nitric acid production use of fertilizers in the agricultural field manure that is manures cars with catalytic converter and burning of organic matter these are the sources of n2o now 
what are the strategy global warming effects on plants that also to be studied low agricultural productivity in tropics frequent heat waves will be coming increase of vectors and epidemics these are also the effects of global warming you can say strong storms and intense flood uh, damage water crisis and decreased irrigation change in flowering season and pollination change in species distributional ranges and species ex extinction of species also will be taking place so these are all <coughs> the effects on glo global warming effect on plants now what are the strategies to be dealt with global warming they increase the vegetation cover we have to grow more and more plants grow more trees reducing the use of fossil fuels and greenhouse gases developing alternate renewable resources of energy and minimizing using minimizing uses of nitrogenous fertilizers and aerosols in the agriculture so this till here children next class we will be discussing further okay thank you